Astronomy Events November 2021 Please subscribe to our channel for science updates. New Moon 5th November 2021 The Moon will pass close to the Sun and become lost in its glare for a few days. The Moon's orbital motion carries it around the Earth once every four weeks, and as a result its phases cycle from New Moon through first quarter, full Moon and last quarter, back to New Moon once every 29.5 days. This motion also means that the Moon travels more than 12 degrees across the sky from one night to the next, causing it to rise and set nearly an hour later each day. Uranus at Opposition, 5th November 2021 Uranus will reach opposition when it lies opposite to the Sun in the sky. Lying in the constellation Aries, it will be visible for much of the night, reaching its highest point in the sky around midnight local time. At around the same time that Uranus passes opposition, it also makes its closest approach to the Earth, term its perigee, making it appear at its brightest. This happens because when Uranus lies opposite to the Sun in the sky, the Earth passes between Uranus and the Sun. The solar system is lined up with Uranus and the Earth on the same side of the Sun. When a planet is in opposition, the solar system is aligned such that the planet lies on the same side of the Sun as the Earth. At this time, the planet makes its perigee or closest approach to the Earth, not drawn to scale. Conjunction of the Moon and Venus, 8th November 2021 The Moon and Venus will share the same right ascension with the Moon passing 1 deg 06 to the north of Venus. The Moon will be 4 days old. At around the same time, the two objects will also make a close approach, technically called an appulse. The pair will become visible around 1819, ist, 29 deg above your southwestern horizon, as dusk fades to darkness. They will then sink towards the horizon, setting 2 hours and 56 minutes after the Sun at 2059. The Moon will be at mag minus 10.8, and Venus at mag minus 4.5, both in the constellation Sagittarius. Lunar Occultation of Venus, 8th November 2021 The Moon will pass in front of Venus, creating a lunar occultation visible from parts of Eastern Asia. Lunar occultations are only ever visible from a small fraction of the Earth's surface. This means that if the Moon is aligned to pass in front of a particular object for an observer on one side of the Earth, it will appear up to 2 degrees away from that object on the other side of the Earth. Conjunction of the Moon, Jupiter and Saturn, 11th November 2021 The Moon and Jupiter will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing 4 deg 21 to the south of Jupiter. The Moon will be 7 days old. At around the same time, two objects will also make a close approach, technically called an appulse. The pair will be visible in the evening sky, becoming accessible around 1815, 54 deg above your southern horizon, as dusk fades to darkness. They will continue to be observable until around 002, when they sink below 7 deg above your western horizon. Northern Toward Meteor Shower 2021 12th November 2021 The Northern Toward Meteor Shower will be active from 20 October to 10 December, producing its peak rate of meteors around 12 November. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing northern toward meteors whenever the shower's radiant point in the constellation Taurus is above the horizon with the number of visible meteors increasing the higher the radiant point is in the sky. The shower is likely to produce its best displays in the hours around 100 IST when its radiant point is highest in the sky. Leonid Meteor Shower 2021 17th November 2021 the Leonid meteor shower will be active from 6 November to 30 November, producing its peak rate of meteors around 17 November. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing Leonid meteors whenever the shower's radiant point in the constellation Leo is above the horizon, with the number of visible meteors increasing the higher the radiant point is in the sky. The shower is expected to reach peak activity at around 2300 IST on 17 November 2021. Best displays might be seen after the radiant rises on 18th November 2021. Full Moon, 19th November 2021 The Beaver Moon, the sequence of full moons that fall through the year, are sometimes assigned names such as the Beaver Moon, according to the months and seasons in which they fall. This practice has been popularized in recent decades by the Farmer's Almanac in the United States. 
partial lunar eclipse, 19th November 2021. The moon will pass through the Earth's shadow between 1249 and 1617 IST, creating a partial lunar eclipse. The eclipse will be visible any location where the moon is above the horizon at the time, including from Oceania and the Americas, Eastern Asia, Northern Europe, and Indonesia. The eclipse will begin at 1133, when the moon first enters a region of the Earth's shadow called the penumbra. In this outer part of the Earth's shadow, an observer on the moon would see the Earth partially obscuring the sun's disk, but not completely covering it. Please refer link in the description of this video to know more about the lunar eclipse November 2021. Venus at highest altitude in evening sky 22nd November 2021 Venus will reach its highest point in the sky in its 2021-2022 evening apparition. It will be shining brightly at mag minus 4.4. This apparition will not be one of the most prominent but nonetheless prominent, reaching a peak altitude of 33 deg above the horizon at sunset on 22nd November 2021. Venus's orbit lies closer to the Sun than the Earth's, meaning it always appears close to the Sun and is lost in the Sun's glare much of the time. On these occasions, Venus is so bright and conspicuous that it becomes the third brightest object in the sky after the Sun and Moon. It is often called the Morning Star or the Evening Star. These apparitions repeat roughly once every 1.6 years, taking place alternately in the morning and evening skies, depending whether Venus lies to the east of the Sun or to the west. November Oriented Meteor Shower 2021 28th November 2021 the November Oriented Meteor Shower will be active from 13 November to 6 December, producing its peak rate of meteors around 28 November. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing November Oriented Meteors whenever the shower's radiant point, in the constellation Orion, is above the horizon, with the number of visible meteors increasing the higher the radiant point is in the sky. Meteor showers arise when the Earth passes through streams of debris left behind in the wake of comets and asteroids. Over time, the pieces of grit-like debris in these streams distribute themselves along the length of the parent object's orbit around the solar system. Shooting stars are seen whenever one of these pieces of debris collides with the Earth's atmosphere, typically burning up at an altitude of around 70 to 100 km. Please let us know in comments below from where you are going to watch the lunar eclipse. Stay safe and take care. We will be back in another exciting video, so don't forget to subscribe.